In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, in today's first reading, the beautiful letter of St. Paul to Ephesians, writing from the prison, Paul urges Ephesians not to protest for his freedom. Paul wrote to Ephesians not to make uh, not to make an agitation for his release from the prison. But Paul writes to Ephesians saying, live worthy of the call that you have received. Whether we live in prison or whether we live in home, whether we are married or whether we are single, whether we are students or whether we are adults, whether we are children or whether we are infants, we have to live the life that we have received abundantly from God, true to our calling. If I am a student, I must study and do my work. If I am a worker, then I must be committed in my work. If I am at home, I must save God and fulfill the duties of the homemaker. If I am a parent, then I must work for the welfare of my children. If I am a pastor, then I must pray and see to the welfare of the souls that are interested to me. That is the each one of our vocations, the ministry the Lord had given to each one of us. Therefore, a pastor cannot be a family man. Also, a family man cannot be a pastor, vice versa. Each one of us have received a special call according to the grace that has been given to us. Therefore, St. Paul writes that we live worthy of the vocation that, that we have received. In the Gospel, our Lord tells us that you can interpret the signs of the times. Looking at the cloud, you say it is going to rain. Looking at the wind, you say it is going to be very hot. If you can interpret the signs of time, why can't you interpret the signs of the spirituality, the times of my temptation, the times of my virtue, the time the Lord calls me to love, the time the Lord calls me to forgive, the time when I, when I am so weak and I must be dependent on God's grace. Therefore, the Lord invites us to be spiritual, shrewd, to be spiritually prudent, to interpret the time and to glorify God in our bodies. The Vatican Council II Sacrosanctum Consulium on Sacred Liturgy, it is written that the goal of life consists not only in participating in the liturgy, but carrying in our body the death of Christ so that the life of Christ also be, man be man manifest in us. To pray without ceasing, not only at the Mass, not only in our family prayer, but in our life. To pray without ceasing, that is the invitation of the Second Vatican Council, the document on sacred liturgy, Sacrosanctum Concilium. Let us pray that we may be able to perceive the invitation of the Lord, that we may be able to perceive the hours of our trial and weakness and strength, that we may depend upon Jesus and upon His grace, so that His name may be glorified in us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.